when a child is born, the child is open. And I think that openness has to be kept and has to be supported. Professors, the main objective is slowly, painlessly turn you from an open society, which you are now, and it's open, you can love it or leave it, to a closed society, carbon copy of Soviet socialism. Why? Why would KGB want you to be uh, similar to my society? You ever thought about it? No, of course, because your media doesn't explain it to me. All right, I'll explain it to you. The reason for trying that is to merge into one global system. Natural bodies of administration, which are traditionally either elected by, by people at large or appointed by elected leaders of society, are being actively substituted by artificial bodies. The bodies of people, groups of people, whom nobody elected Never. As a matter of fact, most of the people don't like them at all, and yet they exist. The highest art of warfare is not to fight at all, but to subvert anything of value in your enemy's country, be it moral, traditions, religion, respect to your authority and, and leaders, uh, cultural traditions, anything. Put white against black, old against young, uh, I don't know, wealthy against poor, and so on. Doesn't matter. As long as it disturbs society, as long as it cuts the moral fiber of a nation, it's good. And then you just take this country, when everything is subverted, when the country is disoriented and confused, when it is demoralized and then destabilized, then the crisis will come. Then the crisis will come. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students. The step-by-step -step thesis was that the first six years have a disproportionate influence on the rest of the life of people. That you can't create open societies and you can't change issues around equity and poverty in society unless you start investing in the youngest citizens.